was it more difficult to be an out lesbian, to come out as a lesbian, or be a liberal and talk radio? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, you know, I think that I have to say it's harder to be a liberal in talk radio. I, I, as you know, you know, we're, we're fighting. You know, we're on so many fewer stations, and we're so, we're sort of fighting that that good fight. You know, but uh, um, I'm hoping that we'll get to a point where no one has to come out anymore. I mean, it's interesting. I never really, um, I never said I was straight. I never hid. I was out to my friends and family and coworkers for years. I just didn't talk about it on the radio. I was just very private. But you know, I realized that we got to a place. I think you know we're at a tipping point in, in you know gay rights and civil rights in this country, and it was just time for me to say me too. Well, you're here as the Grand Marshal today. How's that? Yes. Well, listen. If I can't get lucky today, when can I? Well, that was my next question. If gay marriage became legal, who would be your dream spouse? Oh boy. I. You know, it's. <laughs> I. I should just. Oh, let's start with a date. If I could just get a date today at Gay Pride, I'd be happy. Is there any type you're looking for, or besides dog lovers, of course? Dog. Well, of course. Uh, yeah. Box wine and dogs. What would you like to say to the people of Long Beach? I would like to say I love you, and I mean that in a really gay way. Happy Pride from the sisters. Hi, Ma! So get your colors out, get your flags, your whistles, your tutus, whatever it is you need to celebrate and be prideful. Yeah. 